world's most famous office building, the Pentagon, was originally meant to be located elsewhere. During World War II, this building was to be built across the Lincoln Memorial and near Arlington Memorial Cemetery. In fact, some farmland had been chosen, and it happened to be in the shape of a pentagon. Not an even-sided, regular pentagon, but a pentagon nonetheless. For simplicity, the architects decided to make the office building in the shape of the farmland. But problems emerged when it became apparent that the proposed location of the new office building would interfere with the view of Arlington Cemetery when seen from the Washington side of the Potomac River. A decision was quickly made to relocate the building farther down the river. The demands of wartime prevented an entirely new blueprint for the office building, but the architects did make one significant change. The building would be a regular Pentagon, and thus the Pentagon, as the building has since come to be known, came to be. In their rush to create the new office building, the designers came up with a building whose shape offers some clear advantages. Let's compare a square inscribed in a circle of radius R to a regular pentagon inscribed in the same circle. The increase in the number of sides for the pentagon results in a sizable increase in the perimeter. This is important for a building that needed a huge number of office suites. Furthermore, the five sides offer more angles of approach for the surrounding roads and highways. This example illustrates the versatility of polygons. With an increase in the number of sides come other properties that make polygons a solution to certain design problems. In this program, you will explore some real-world problems that involve the use of polygons. Specifically, this program will address the following concepts. Constructions using a compass and straight edge. The properties of regular polygons. Composite figures. Tessellations areas of polygons and composite figures.